Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to look at concurrent modification exceptions that we get where, when, whenever we, we try to traverse the, uh, some of the collections in Java and we try to modify them. Okay. So we are going to look at some of the interesting facts about uh, this concurrent modification exception. So please stay tuned. So let's, so I have this array list where I have added three numbers in my list, one, five, three. Now let's try to traverse this uh, array list. What I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, we are going to traverse uh, this array list using uh, for each loop of, uh, uh, you know, uh, of the stream. Uh, or maybe I, what I can do is, let me open stream and for each, okay, number, All right, now uh, let me uh, add first, let's use these numbers and then we'll try to remove it. Remove index, That's the, this is the method we are going to use. All right, so let's run this code and let's, let's see what happens. So what do we get is, uh, uh, so index out of bound exception. So we are getting some exception here. Now let's try to remove this stream and let's run. Now we are getting concurrent modification exception. So this is the for, for each loop of the list which is actually, which iterates over. Uh, let's go inside what this exactly, what is this exactly? So this is the part of iterator, okay? Uh, let, uh, we'll go back to that part, but now let's see, uh, I'm, keep, I'm going to keep this code as it is, and what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to replace this code with uh, Java for each loop, uh, in which what we do is, we, we try to traverse like this, okay? And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to modify some code here, yeah. And let's get this code, okay? So now I'm going to use for uh, older version of for each loop uh, before we, uh, you know, directly use iterator. And again, what I'm seeing is I'm getting this concurrent modification exception. So whenever, when we try to uh, traverse via list dot for each, and whenever I'm using this for loop directly, I'm getting this concurrent modification exception. Okay. In uh, the concurrent, the reason why we get this concurrent modification exception is because we are uh, traversing it using iterator. And at the same time, we are trying to remove it okay the we are trying to modify that uh, list so now uh, there is one interesting thing about this now if i don't use this uh, for each loop like this and instead of that if i use simple loop simple loop like you know the the loop which don't have yeah so this is the simple loop right and i equal to zero i is less than list dot size i plus plus now let's see what result do we get yeah so the index out of bound so we are not getting getting concurrent modification exception here okay and uh, this is the same same behavior we got in uh, when we were when we uh, try to uh, traverse this array list using a uh, stream API, right? So in both cases, we didn't get concurrent modification exception. Whereas when we use for each loop, for each loop like this, list that for each. And when we directly use another one like this for loop and integer i, in that case, we got exception so what is the reason why we didn't get that exception concurrent modification here we instead of that we got different exception 
it's because whenever let's uh, for that let's go to uh, let's go inside uh, uh, RLS implementation. Okay, so here we are going to find this uh, reason. Okay, so here uh, if you know uh, there is a iterator interface, right? We are jump, we are going to iterator. Yeah, iterator. Or rather, we can directly go to concurrent. Yeah, we can search for this exception, and you will find that all the all these exceptions we get are via iterator part. Okay, so whenever we are traversing using list iterator, so what happens is internally whenever we use for each loop, uh, a loop like this. List dot this dot for each loop. It actually it is actually for each loop of for each loop of this one iterator. Okay, add. So here you will find for each yeah. For each loop, yes. For each remaining, for each remaining, yeah. Here you can find for each loop, and here what do we see is we are throwing concurrent modification exception. So it's actually good idea. Uh, it's a it's a good check. So the point I'm trying to say is is if you are traversing using uh, normal loop or if you are using stream API, it actually doesn't check inside if the uh, collection is being modified uh, by any other thread. Uh, so this problem can be can be observed in multi-thread environment where one collection is shared among uh, others. So in that case, we can either use synchronized data structure uh, using collection dot synchronize. Okay. So this was the uh, interesting thing about uh, concurrent modification exception. Hope you liked it. Please share, uh, share and uh, share, like, subscribe my video if you like. If you are liking my content.